Good morning, Year 3. Um, in our science lesson this morning, we are going to use some tasty ingredients. Oh, ooh, chocolate. To demonstrate how the rock cycle works. The change between sedimentary rock, igneous rock and metamorphic rock. If you've got chocolate at home, when we finish, you might want to have a turn by yourself. I've got three different types of chocolate here. I'm going to use cling film, tin foil and some hot water. Once upon a time, underneath the Earth's crust, there was molten rock. Hot, hot molten rock, heated by the Earth's core to temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius. When magma reaches the surface of the Earth, it comes out from underneath the ground and is called lava. Lava is molten rock that has been heated underneath the Earth's crust. This molten rock comes to the top of the Earth's crust and eventually cools to form igneous rocks. We'll come back to this later and look at it once it's cooled down. Over time, all rocks are eroded by rain, by ice, by gravity, by wind. Erosion means little tiny parts of them are broken off. These tiny parts of all rocks are called sediments. Over many, many hundreds thousands, millions of years, layers of sediment build up. Tiny pieces of rock that have been eroded, layer on top of each other. As the sediment slowly gets transported, which means carried and deposited in a new place, it builds up in horizontal, that's this way, in horizontal layers. And over time, those layers get pushed together. So you can see really clearly here how the chocolate is showing the layers just like it would look in rocks the horizontal layers of sedimentary rocks. Come back to our igneous rock, which was the rock that came out of the earth as molten rock lava. Uh, now this has finally cooled down here, as you can see, so it shows a hard, sort of swirly igneous rock. Now, the final rock we're going to make is metamorphic. We would have some here of our igneous rock, we would also have some of our sedimentary rock. You can see the layers, the sediment has built up. So we've got some igneous rock and we have got some sedimentary rock there in our cling film. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a little ball so I can hold it in my hand. You can see I've got very chocolatey fingers. So here is my metamorphic rock that I'm creating in my hand. So in my hand, I'm applying pressure, which means I'm squeezing it just like the plates of the earth would do to rock. And I'm also heating it up a little bit, just like if it was pushed underneath the surface, it would do. So my rock is being squeezed, having pressure applied and heated. I'm going to keep doing that for a few more seconds and then I'm going to show you our metamorphic rock. So heat and pressure. Okay, so here we have it. We have got our block of metamorphic rock that was formed through heat and pressure. We have got our sedimentary rock that shows the horizontal layers of sediment. 
and we have got our igneous rock that has erupted possibly out of a volcano, come out of the earth as lava and has hardened and cooled into a rock. And that is the rock cycle through the use of chocolate. I wonder if you fancy having a go. I mean, I'm pretty messy, but it was really good fun. And I'm going to eat some now.